What is up guys? Welcome back to another video today. We have Orissa live on the servers here. Really excited to test her out. This is my first time testing her out outside of uh, very briefly on the PTR with uh, a friend of mine. Now L2 is that. Okay. And then L1 is her shit. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, she was really fun to play on the PTR when I did have time to play with her, play with her very briefly. And um, as you see, you know, she's really powerful. Most of you guys, I'm not going to sit here and talk about how she is because I know a lot of people have already probably gone to see other videos about her, uh, rightfully so. A lot of people have a lot of in-depth guides on her. Uh, and I think that they're really nice, actually. Boom, pulled back. Shield. And you can still shoot, and that lasts just a little bit of time. It's got a 10 second cooldown. Uh, and then the shield has an 11 second cooldown, which is depending on the choke. Alright, sweet. So I'm still kind of learning her. This right here is kind of just me learning uh, about how she handles. Um, really excited. Now, the big part of this video that I wanted to discuss is simply actually i just really wanted to talk to you guys about why she's not on competitive uh i think that that's something how long does this last wow that lasts for a while um the big the big thing that i want to talk about is why is she not on competitive uh and i think that that's been a lot of backlash uh, on the overwatch forums i've seen a lot of people discussing this and asking why uh that is the case. I think it's a stupid idea. This didn't happen for Sombra. It didn't happen for Anna. Why is it happening now? And my personal belief uh, in why they're doing this, it just kind of goes back to one, they're really relying on our feedback. And I feel from my own personal feedback, I feel like we needed um, more time with each of the characters that came out first with adding them to competitive because not many people knew how to use them properly. Um, what goes on is like once someone goes into the PTR uh, once you have someone that actually is put onto the PTR for uh, for testing even Blizzard has said like we don't have that many people that are actually sitting here testing uh, these people and you're not really getting them in, in the best format like we've added a competitive format now uh, to the PTR from my understanding and what you can do with that you know is you still have matches but people are gonna leave out of that and it's just not getting the balance that you want now if you uh go into say a quick play game for uh when on the live servers people take it a little bit more seriously now granted uh i do have a video that i want to make still about why quick play uh is a problem here in uh in overwatch currently compared to the competitive and such um but that's you know for another video and so what they're getting is they're really not getting you're getting experience with the character but you're not getting experience with actually how to play said character uh, in a game like properly uh, learning all about them and it kind of comes down to not necessarily letting other people play characters it comes down to other players that uh, are in the game with someone who picks Orisa not having to worry about does this player know how to play this character and will this person let us down or not just pull their weight and we end up losing a comp game because you when you pick Orisa uh, you are actually you know putting yourself in, I don't know how to say it properly, I guess. You're, you're basically putting on the off chance that you're doing really well and really efficient with the character that you have five other people in your lobby that could get harmed from your decision. And by harmed, I use that very lightly in a term that, you know, they'll lose SR, which SR is precious to some people, especially someone hovering in Masters really close to Diamond level uh, who can't really afford to lose those games. Uh, and so... They're just really wanting to make sure people that are serious about playing Orisa get that time with Orisa, practice her, and be ready for comp. Uh, and gives people that maybe even just want to play her lightly uh, can see how she works and at least have some time under their belt. Oh, that didn't work. Before, you know, just diving into a comp game. Because when, some, when Sombra came out, uh, I had a really hard time dealing with how she handled you know I, I not not personally but just how she how people handled her is what I should say and so I think that right now what's best for us is as a community is to just allow that to go down and allow people to 
take time to learn these characters so that we can have uh, a not so toxic comp room whenever we're actually you know in in these comp games because it does get a little toxic people like will say like hey well why are you playing this character you're not pulling your weight with this character and it just turns into a problem uh, overall and it's something that i don't like dealing with and i i've been definitely uh not toxic per se but i've definitely been like hey um somber's still a new character we've done a round you played them on defense already and we're attacking i don't think we really need her even though she'd probably be more viable for attack but you know Obviously, you're not doing super well with her. We could get more value out of this, 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 and this than her. Um, and sometimes it's the truth. Like, people have a lot more experience with, like, Soldier instead of playing uh, Sombra, who they're kind of just running around playing invisible, and, and it's just not working out very well. So I think that that's going to need to be the best situation. Uh, I'm not really going to sit around here and talk too much longer in this video because I don't want to repeat myself, but people just need to look at it as they're not necessarily holding uh, individuals back from playing the game more than they're helping the people that would have to be in a game with someone playing Orisa uh, and hoping that she knows how to play it because a lot of people are going to kind of treat competitive that aren't taking it seriously probably as a, a, a solid testing ground for her. And I understand that some people are going to want to test her out in competitive and that's per perfectly fine but people um i know people that play a lot of the new heroes like right off the bat and it just takes a while and like when you're playing them in a comp game it gets really tough and it's hard to really find success uh in a comp atmosphere with new characters that you're still learning about and so i think it's just going to be probably for the best that we sit back and just enjoy a week of learning it's just a week. Week goes by really quick, so hopefully people uh, understand that. And why can't I shoot these two? Oh my god. There we go. But that's all I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and talk your ear off. Just wanted to share some of my thoughts. And hopefully you guys uh, understand where I'm coming from as well. I'll try to get some Orisa gameplay actual in-game. I'll try to have a great game with her. Um, I think I can get the hang of her for a defensive game or two. It's probably going to be hard picking her anyways, so... Uh, we'll see how that goes, and so I've been Todd, Todd Muffin, you guys can call me whatever, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thank you.